It's my new prop. All right. I got a team order today. Not a very big one, but some fun stuff. So we got to get to it, right? Don't want to save it. I think I'm going to get one tomorrow that's bigger. So we got to do this one tonight. All right. Um, hi, thanks for watching today. And thanks for all the lovely comments people make. You guys are so nice. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll admit, I am so scared to read the comments that are left for me. Because I'm just waiting for one to say, a horrible negative thing like why are you doing that you're you shouldn't be on tv you know or something i don't know or you're stupid or you know i'm just so afraid to read them and then it you know i read one and it's pretty good and i feel okay and then i have to read the next one and i'm scared so but thanks because everybody's so nice i always hear other people say that too there's you're so nice and you are Maybe that's because they say, do not leave negative, mean comments. So maybe people are leaving them, but they don't publish them. That could be. All right, let's get to it. I already opened it and I wrote the prices. So we won't have problems with noise. We need noise control from the plastic. Well, everything still is in plastic. All right. I got this because, I wonder how many stories I'm going to have telling tonight. I got this for $5.48. There's only one reason I got it. Here I go with the plastic. There's only one reason I got it. Because it says it's real leather. It smells pretty good. Now you know, I showed you my favorite purse over here. And it is $1.97, the crappiest purse you could have. Well, I want it to look a little more high-end. And this is a little bigger, but not too big, right? And it'll fit the cell phone still. I wish I knew something I could make out of these. Besides a mattress for a doll, Barbie doll bed. I don't. I'm not being a hoarder. I'm going to throw it away. All right. Let's look inside. It has a little pocket, but not a zippered pocket inside. But it has a pocket out here. Nice, heavy duty. I like this pocket right here. I think this is going to be my next fate. And look, a good pocket here, deep, lined. And then you could put it on your belt if you wore a belt, which I never wear a belt. Why would I need to put a belt around my fat old waist that tie a sack of potatoes in the middle? I don't wear belts. All right, I'm trying to get this. Ooh, they have a gold twisty tie. That's deluxe, except it's pretty cheap. And the, this isn't that deluxe, but I don't want a big fat, strap that you know takes too much space up and everything but it's leather i'm sorry but i have a ranch and i had cattle so using leather does not offend me i'm not a vegan because i think that you know cows are gonna die they don't live forever in fact did you know this here's a story you might not know this i didn't know it till i married my husband a cow's life is not very long. A cow, if it's going to be a milking cow, it only lives for like 10 years is a long time because it would have like eight babies, one a year. They're pregnant nine months like a human and then they milk. You either leave the calf, the calf with the cow and then they nurse and get all the milk or you take the calf away and you milk the cows, and then you gotta feed the calves fake powdered milk. And I always feel so bad for those little cows, and at first they just moo and moo, and the mother moos, cause she knows her baby, they, where is it? And they're gone, and it's so sad. And then they brand them and rip their ears, and, and then if they're a bull, well, if they have to decide, are you gonna let the baby cow be a bull, or a steer. 
If it's going to be a steer, then they have to oscillate the nuts. That means they put a rubber band around them and then they fall off in the pasture somewhere. I never found any that fell when I walked. I never found any deposited anywhere. I don't know what happens to them. Maybe the fox or something at night eat them, find them and eat them or something. I don't know. Never found any. But if you are a steer, you even have less life, like three years, and then they butcher you. So if you are a cow, a cow person, cow, you do not want to be a boy cow unless you are fortunate enough to be a bull and get to have your nuts and be grown to be a bull. But they don't need too many bulls. They only, a bull, you know, has so many women cows that they are with. And if the more women cows you have, the more bulls you need. But you still only need, like, a big herd only needs, like, about five, you know, and that's enough. So, you might be glad you were not born a cow because your life... And then look at this. I, when I came home tonight, it was minus, I mean, two below. I have to say two below. I always want to say minus two. That's not right. That's not correct. Two below. And it's supposed to get 16 below tonight. And then um, we have like two foot of snow out there. Winter struck. So I heard one person complaining because, you know, they had a few inches of snow. We live in Siberia of the high Wyoming mountains here. All right, so you can put it on your belt. It's real leather. It does smell like leather. I am so thrilled with this. How much did I pay? Like $5. They have it in black too. But I have this one in black and that's why I got it in brown. Oh, I, and look, oh, it says something on here. Uh, I can't even read it. What does that say? It is not English. It does say leather underneath this non-English word. I can't. It's in cursive. L-A-I is the last word. That's why I know it's not English. But I think it's darling. Oh, I can't wait to load it up. All right. Now the next thing. This looks like a prescription bottle. It was $4.94. All right. $4.94. They put it in this so if this leaks, it won't get all over everything else. And then this is wrapped in shrink wrap cellophane. I Tonight, I published my chicken Alfredo. It is my favorite thing that I showed how to make it. And I ate it before I did this and it was so good. And Oh, I was so glad I made it because when I came home, it was ready. And if you guys like cheese and sauce, you should make it. It's cheap to make. All right, this is Rosemary Mint Blend Scalp Hair Strengthening Oil. Infused with biotin. That's good. And encourages longer, healthier hair. All right, I'll tell you something. Here's another story. When I was young, I saw Blue Lagoon with Brooke Shields in it. And I loved that movie. And, you know, they got stranded on an island when they were little children, her and the guy. And then they grew up and then they weren't educated, so they didn't really know. They just knew what little memory they had of civilization. But anyway, what I always impressed upon me was her hair was so long, it didn't matter if she had a shirt on or not. Of course, you know, they glued extensions in, and so she had so much hair that, you know, it covered her whole body, practically. Lady Godiva, you know. But anyway, I always thought, it wasn't that handy. If you grow your hair long enough and you get caught naked... They can't see anything. And it was my goal to do that. 
Well, you know, I've been growing my hair my whole life and it's still not going to cover any nakedness or protect me from anything. And, and now that I'm getting older and things are going more south, if you know what I mean, my hair has to grow really longer. So that's why I got this. Rosemary Mint Blend. I wonder if what it smells like. What does rosemary smell? Oh, I know. Rosemary, you make spaghetti with that and chicken and stuff. I like it. it smells kind of like a cleaning product, but minty. And, but I saw this lady on, she was in, she's an airline stewardess, camper girl. And she uses this and brushes it into her hair, like on her days off. And then it just can let, lets it condition and then sleeps in it and stuff. And it makes her hair really soft and everything. So that's why I got it. And where she gets it from, you know, is expensive. So I anything expensive, I check Timu and they have it. Now on Facebook, they're showing this kind of hair clip, a long hair clip, you know, like a long one. And it has a bow on each side. Have you seen it on Facebook or something? And then the beautician puts it all in a bun. And then she puts this in the back and it's a bow and stuff. And they're selling the, this, you know, clip with the bow. And my sister said, isn't this cute? And I said, yes. Well, I, we were texting. And then she goes, I wonder if Timu has it. They do for $1.16. And you know Facebook wants probably 10 So always check Timu to see if they have what you want. Don't order from Facebook or Amazon or check Timu out first. You have to wait two weeks, though. All right, this is a necklace. Now, I have enough necklaces. Speaking of, I have enough. All morning, I recorded a tape of me purging my closet. It's hard for me because, you know, I got to make decisions and decide. But I decided I'm just going to do one section. Like this morning, I just did my white shirts and my skirts. And I got a big pile to get rid of. Because somebody on here was very nice, but they said, are you really going to wear all those clothes? How are you going to wear all those clothes? That is true. That made me really start thinking, how am I going to? Maybe if I didn't have a washer and dryer and I had to go four months without doing laundry, I could do it. I had to wash my underwear by hand, but you know, where am I going to, I'm never going to wear all those clothes. So that lady inspired me to get rid of some. So I'm going to, I'm thinking about videoing the purge and how I'll show you how I go in there and how I can decide, does it make me happy? Well, I have three black one, black shirts. What shirt would I wear first? You know? So anyway, I'm going to do it maybe because it really, if I have you guys to be held accountable for to do it and then you watch it and then It'll work, right? And I can get rid of some of that stuff so I can have space to breathe. It'll be freeing. All right, here's a necklace. I haven't ordered. I know everybody loves Timu jewelry. And I think, like, I get a necklace, you know, a dollar necklace. I take a bath in it or leave it on for a couple days. And the gold chains really turn horrible. And some of them, the cheap ones, they are cheap. You have to face it, they are cheap. But if you spend a little more, like these are moissanite earrings and they're nice. So if you spend more, you're gonna get better. But I haven't ordered too much costume jewelry from them because I used to order it from Wish and I have a ton. This is 319. So I got it. I don't know if I like it, but I'll tell you a story. Okay, <laughs> when I say I tell you a story, that means don't run to the bathroom and don't, you know, tell everybody be quiet, you wanna hear this. All right, before I had my hip surgery, I had a lot of necklaces, but when I had my bad hips for like 10 years and it kept getting worse every year, every year, I walked horrible because every step was ouch, ouch, ouch. It hurt so bad. 
and I had these long necklaces. And when I would wear them, and every time I sway with the big breasts, and the necklaces would go, ooh, 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 ooh. so I stopped wearing them because I looked like a, you know, coming here, I'm coming. I could spot people walking in the grocery store or at the malls and stuff. I could spot them. Oh, they need, they're in pain walking. They need a hip surgery. But I had to wait till I was 65 to get my surgery because we didn't have insurance on me because I was a loser. So now I have insurance and I got them. But my one hip surgery cost Medicare 130000 and the other one was 80000 So I'm glad I waited and I didn't make my husband sell his ranch to pay for that. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of cruises. It's a lot of trips. Anyway, I don't know if this looks... But I needed a light color because most of my necklaces, now that I can wear them because I don't walk like a penguin anymore, I try to walk straight and tall with my new hips in heels, I can wear long necklaces again. So that's why I bought it. Cause, and most of my necklaces were black beads and then a thing. And I did have a white beaded one, but my daughter loved it, so I gave it to her. That's another thing I wanted to tell you. I have a lot of stuff, right? You saw my closet. I can't hide it. I have a lot of stuff. But if that stuff was all gone, I'm not going to cry about it. I'm still the same person I am. And I realize all of this crap I have means nothing. It means nothing. The only thing important in life really is your family, your health, and what you're going to eat and your spirituality. And that is what's most important. It's not all this stuff. It's just a hobby. And if I all of it burned down, I would still be the same person and I would just gear myself into something else, you know? So don't think that all of this stuff is like, I'm so, it's so important. It's not one bit. I'm material mom, but it's not because all this materialistic crap I have. It's because I have so much material and recipes and, and learned knowledge I'm sharing with you. All right, what is this? It's a, right, when you get older, not only do your eyesight go limited because you can't see, you need more light to see. Every old person will say that. Let me get my glasses and let me turn the light up brighter. Because then you think that you could see it better. If you have better light. $1.28, I got this. Now, I spent a lot more on this to get one for my RV. I'll tell you what I did. My little camper RV. My husband... He likes to complain. And the dash light inside here, of course, the big wheels right here, and he can't see in there the, how fast he's going and the gas and everything. So I bought one of these and strung it across up inside there where those control panel is. And then this comes down and plugs into the, the I call it a cigarette lighter, but my kids go, it's not just for cigarettes. I don't know what it's called, but you have a thing down there. So then I plug this in there and it has a light switch, but really it's for the sewing machine to put it underneath the arm of the sewing machine so that you have a little more light on the subject. And so for $1.28, I decided, I paid like $5 for the one for the RV, but I thought this is going to be good. They probably gave me price adjustment because I think I paid more, because I had it in my cart forever. And if it was only $1.28, I wouldn't have left it in my cart for three months. So I can't wait to try that out and sew again, which I am gonna sew. My coat I wore Sunday, that baby poop colored coat, it is way too big. And so I had my husband hold the back seam in I can't do it myself, but I had him hold it in to see if I took that seam in, would it fit better? Now, I know a coat's supposed to be a little bigger on you because you're wearing it over your clothes, but this coat, and I got to hem the sleeves, so I'm going to fix it so then I can try my new light out, but I 
figured out why they do price adjustments. Those Chinese people are very, very smart. They're good inventors and they have smartness coming. Do you know why they do those price adjustments? They're giving us a few cents back and then we have a credit. And what do you do when you have a credit? You're gonna order more. I know that's their strategy behind it. Cause like right now I have a $4 credit on one of my accounts and I'm thinking, what can I buy? I'll just put a little more money with it and get something good. Well, if you have to make a $20 limit order, you're, it's a lot of more money with the $4. But I know that's their strategy to trick us into making another order and it works. So those Chinese are smart. I'm not racist. Somebody thought I was I'm not. We're all God's children. God loves us all the same because we're all his children. All right. Now, if you didn't know this already, but I'm sure you do. St. Patrick's Day is on a Sunday. Now, that might be good for the teachers and the little kids because, you know, they don't have to worry about it because they're not in school that day. But then usually I don't have to worry about it because I'm not going to school. But now it's on a Sunday. What am I going to wear to St. Patrick's Day? I have my outfit picked out. And I did want to say this. You know, the clothes is my hobby. And I love to put outfits together, if you didn't know that. That's why I do What Did I Wear Sunday. I love to put outfits together. And I used to do plays and I was the costume designer in plays. And so I would put the outfits together for the plays. And then I sewed and I designed clothes and bought fabric and designed and sewed them for years. And that's why I have a ton of fabric because it used to be sewing your clothes was cheaper than buying them. But now fabric is so much money and patterns are $12 each. They used to be 75 cents each. So now it costs more to sew something than it does to just go buy it from Timu. So, but that is why I am such a clothes person because it's part of my creativeness. I'll say that because I love to uh, design and plan and figure out what looks best and stuff. So, I just wanted to get that clear. All right, so here's what I'm gonna wear on St. Patrick's Day. This is my Timu dress that I wore with the red jacket for Christmas. And it's a good enough pattern, but it's not my favorite pioneer dress, you know. But it's green, it's gonna be my St. Patrick's Day. And I had to get St. Patrick's Day earrings. And these are green sparkly, so I got these for 79 cents to match the dress. And then I'm gonna wear my white jacket, coat, and then my green, I have green high heels that I had for 20 years. And here's the look, St. Patrick's Day. Hey, this could be a thumbnail. On St. Patrick's Day, it'll be a good thumbnail. So that's gonna be, I wanted to show you the dress though. And I got this for like $12. And then I found out my sister bought, we didn't know, but one of my sisters bought the same dress and she told me I have that dress, but she played Fishland to win it for free. So we gotta coordinate when we're gonna be together so we won't wear the same dress. Be embarrassing, be twins. She doesn't look a thing like me. This, I hope my granddaughter's not watching. Her birthday is Want to hear this? February 14th. I call her the love child because she was born on Valentine's Day. So this was $2.96 and it was such a good bargain. And they're so cute for a teenager. Pajamas. She's skinny, so they have a half shirt. Little bows. Let's see, is the fabric soft? And then the shorts for bed, for sleeping. That's the back. I hope it fits her. But the thing is, it's going to be great. You know why? I just, when I was cleaning out my closet, 
I found her mother, my daughter's old electric blanket for her single bed. And I thought, I'm going to give this back to Hillary because, you know, I don't need it. Well, when I was doing that, um, I didn't, I know Hillary wouldn't want it because she has a king size bed. So I said, you know, do you care if I give it to her? She said, no. So she sleeps in the basement and you know how basements are colder. So she has that electric blanket now. So now these pajamas will be perfect under an electric blanket in minus 16 below temperature. But I'm not going to buy her anything else because she'll be 16 or yeah, she'll be 16, I think. And at that age, grandmas can't buy him presents. You don't know what to buy him. They won't like anything I buy. She probably won't even like these. Probably won't even fit. I don't even know. So I'm just going to put the money with that. And then I always put a big bag of candy with their presents. Because it's kind of like pie. I know you're thinking about How could that be like pie? Well, my philosophy. Like, I used to cater meals for... We had a trout ranch. Hey, I could get men to watch when I tell them this story. We had a tr tr trout catch-out ranch. And my husband built it down on our old ranch we had. And we got all these trout. They were browns, brown trout. And I don't think they were rainbow. And so people paid like by for an hour or something. And they would fish and catch the fish, but they'd throw them back in which usually we had to get them because they were going to die. So we had to gut them and put them in our freezer and eat them. And I hate trout now because of that. But anyway, we also had a campground down there and we catered meals for companies. And so we would always have Dutch oven potatoes and the fried fish and chicken and... Dutch oven stuff, Dutch oven chicken, and the big grill with the trout. And I would carve out watermelons like in a basket, you know. And then I would always and make homemade rolls, and I would always finish with homemade pies, like six different pies. And why did I do that? Because we had gardens and trees with free produce. So I could make the apple pies the berry pies, and it didn't cost us, and we had more profit. But my philosophy was, if you finish a meal with homemade pie, then the people remember the whole meal being good. And remember, I showed how to make the pie, roll out the pie and do the pie crust, because I was the Crisco queen in high school. Well, my dad called me that, because I won the Crisco award in high school. And so I was a pie winner. So I made those pies and then everybody just loved the, the catered meals. And we would have about a hundred people and my husband built a pavilion down there. We had big picnic tables by the ponds. We had paddle boats and canoes and they could rent them in the campground. And I had to run all that because my husband was still building houses and doing the brickwork. So Emily, my daughter, she'd be my sidekick helping me we had to gut fish, learn how to gut fish. It's not my favorite thing to do. And then we had to, you pour this chemical on the grass and the worms just come up. Have you seen that stuff? And then we had to pick the worms up and put them in containers so people could catch the fish with the worms. I did not like that career one bit. And men would come down there to do the fish out and they go, oh, you just have a dream job come true. And the cabin, my husband built the log cabin down there and we had a gift shop there. And we had to go down there and sit all summer. And no, it wasn't fun. We didn't have electricity and we didn't have cell phones. So, you know, what did we do? I bought a battery operated black and white TV trying to get entertained. But I made a butter, I mean a yo-yo quilt, two of them. I gotta show you my yo-yo quilt someday. I could never make another one because it's amazing. But I had all that time on my hands in between gutting fish and pulling worms out of the ground. So I, I had a wonderful, wonderful life. Okay, this was 1349. I forgot what it is. In a nice box, protected. I know what it is. 
I put this on a fish game and I was going to win it. And I got too sick of trying it. So I finally just bought it because I didn't know if I'd like it. And then I chose something else for the contest that I didn't want right away. Okay, you ready? They stayed the screws with the mollies. I thought it was going to be brown. You could spray paint it any color. And it says for your crystal collection. No, I'm not going to put crystals on it. I'm going to put my little miniature dolls and stuff on it. It's going to be cute display. I don't know where I'm going to hang it. I have to find, I'm going to have to start going up and down my hallway with stuff. But I like it. And it's cute for $13 for my collection, but I'll probably have to glue the little miniatures on the shelf. I have a shelf with miniature little sewing machines. I could show you that someday. I have to keep, get grand, I had to wire it shut so the little grandkids wouldn't get them out of there and wanna play with their Barbies with them. It's my collection, leave it alone. All right, my son, my third son, the school teacher, his birthday is March. 29th. He was born in 1978. I don't know how old that makes him. It makes me real old. That was my third child. But I'm going to tell you. Um, I have a garbage can down there. I'm going to tell you something. Um, there's four girls in my family. Carolyn, Shauna, me, and my younger sister, Lisa. Four of us. And then we have a brother, Larry. He's the attorney. And the other one at the other end, David, he was the homicide detective. And then my sisters, my oldest sister was a veterinary receptionist. My next sister was a nurse. My younger sister was a farm insurance, farmer, farm brewer. I don't know what kind, I forgot what kind of insurance, farmer's insurance, secretary, whatever they're called doing those file, you know, claims and stuff. That was her job. And then here's this middle sister here. What did she do? Nothing. Did I have a career? No. What did I do? I sewed for a living. I, first I made draperies. That sucked. That is big fabric. And you have to make draperies. If you make one cutting mistake, that could be $200 mistake. Measure twice, cut once. Then I sewed for the cleaners and did alterations and got money for that. Then babysat kids. Then I got foster kids. Then I did the trout ranch. Loser jobs. It's true. I had loser jobs. And if you look at my social security, they send you that thing of like, how much did you pay in and how much you get? I only get $251 Social Security a month. I could spend that on Timu and two paint, two paint, you know, orders. Now, this order, I was going to tell you. This order, I had an $11 credit, $11.32 credit. Because you know, they give that back to you. So you will be sure to make another order. And it was a, so I paid thirty-one thirty-eight. Husband Jamie. I didn't spend that much. I spend more than that at the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree is not, shouldn't be called the Dollar Tree. It should be called the $40 Tree. Have you ever gone in there and just spent $1.25? No. Every time I go, I spend at least $40. So my son's birthday is March 29th, and all four of us sisters were pregnant at the same time. And we had babies in 1978. So those four children, the cousins, we call them the 78ers, and there were four of them. Trevor was the first one, and then Aaron, Amber, and Jared. So anyway, wasn't that fun? Us four sisters got to be pregnant at the same time. We weren't due, we were, it was, you know, a few months apart, but we had the 78ers. And I think my sister-in-law, my brother's wife, she had a baby that year too, Neil. So anyway, that was fun. Memories back then. And we had all those little kids at my mom's. My poor mom, when we'd visit her, she, we probably wore out and you didn't even think of it because you weren't old then. Oh no. 
Oh, it's okay. So I got this for my son because this he has a collection. When people have collections, you know how you just cater every gift is that. It's true. Now I'm going to tell you another story. <sighs> Sorry. Um, my dad worked at <clears throat> a dairy. It wasn't, he didn't work with the cows. He homogenized and pasteurized milk. He made cheese and he made uh, cottage cheese, cheese and, and uh, the cream, what else? The cream. And anyway, he had all the licenses in Oregon and he was the only one that had all the licenses to run the plant, the di you know, they didn't see any cows because the trucks would bring the milk in and my dad, the squeaky cheese, and he would bring it home and all oh, that was yummy. All right, so that's what his job was. Well, so when he, then he moved to the coast, the Oregon coast, and he got a different job and that factory of the processing the milk and bottling it had the dairy in the backyard, all the millions of cows that they took the baby calves from the mothers and milked the cows and it was right there. Well, people started giving my dad statues of cows. Every Father's Day, every Christmas, every birthday, anniversary, all he got was cow crap. Well, not really, but stuffed, associated. He even got cow mitt, you know, hot cloves, cow ties, cow statues, cow butter dish, cow creamer, anything cow you could think of, and people would buy it for him. And he had one huge shelf in the living room with just cow stuff. I said, Dad, just think, if you didn't collect cows, you could have got a lot more different presents. You could have got ties. You could have got, you know, better stuff. Finally, my mother said, all right, Enough cows. We do not need any more cow crap. My mother wouldn't say that. We're not getting any more cow stuff. Chachis. So we had, we couldn't get, we weren't allowed to give any more cow stuff. And then they all boxed them all up. So when they died, guess what? We all got our cows back again if we took them. So that's, you may not want to have a collection because people are going to, that's all you're going to get for gifts is what you collect. So you better like what you collect. All right, collect expensive stuff so they'll get you expensive stuff. All right, my son has this collection. So even if it's not, I wanna save the box. If you're watching Trevor, it's not really for you. I'm just making that up for the YouTube people. So I got him this because he doesn't have this color in his collection. And guess what? You know, at Christmas time, they were like $11. But now they were eight fifty four after Christmas. Okay, let's look. Oh, his chin doesn't open. Does it? It's fake. Team, oh, I broke it. No, it works now. It was painted together. Look. All right, I'm going to tell you a story. You might have heard this one. My husband one day came in. If This is how living with a person on the spectrum. They don't have any boundaries of what they say to you. They, it doesn't even occur to him that this is going to hurt my feelings. He came in one day and he goes, you look like a nutcracker. And I go, I do? I'm not skinny. I'm not stiff-legged. I don't have whiskers. I don't play a drum. Why do I look like a nutcracker? I couldn't understand what he's talking about. I don't have a tall hat. And I said, what are you talking about? He goes, when, because you're starting to get these down the side of your face. And so when you talk, you look like the nutcracker. Thanks, Jamie. Married to a nutcracker now. I said, do you want to divorce the Nutcracker? I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I was just noticing that. He, I'm used to it, though. He always said things like that to hurt my feelings. You're starting to look just like my grandma. Thank you, Jamie. What makes you think that I would want to hear that compliment right now? So, I'm used to it, though. He always blurts out something that, you know, makes me so happy. 
Anyway, so now I'm not ever going to get that out of my mind. Every time I look at a nutcracker, I'm going to say, I look like a nutcracker. I'm not crying about it, though. I just excuse him, just like when he calls me Elaine by his first wife's name. We've been married 30 years, and she does that sometimes. So what do I say? Yeah, Foster. I call him by my ex's name. But I don't, it doesn't bother me, because, you know, nobody's perfect. And who knows what your mind's thinking of when you say the name, and it's like, oh, big deal. I'm not going to make an issue. We're not having a fight over it. I'm too tired to have a fight. Okay, I think I've told you enough stories and I've told you enough history lesson on my life. And I showed you the small hall, how many, I didn't have that many things. And so now I can upload or download or whatever I do to make this play. And hopefully the sound is good. And hopefully you're subscribed and like me because I'm begging and I hate begging. And hopefully tomorrow, did I need all this stuff? I got a thing, a gift, I needed that. And my hair stuff, I did need to make my hair healthy. I didn't have any St. Patrick's Day earrings because for my, you know, Sunday dress. And I needed the light for my sewing machine because I'm getting old and I didn't need the purse, but I needed a good one so I would look more high-end and not like a little girl. And I needed this shelf to put my collectibles because they're all in my window and nobody could see them. And, you know, you're a hoarder. If you stack stuff in your windows, the people outside are going, oh, she's a hoarder. Look at all that crap in her window. So, look, I did. I ordered everything I needed. This was a good haul. All right. Bye.